the thing that interested me about the man who knew infinity was it was a story I knew nothing about, uh, about a man I knew nothing about. And it was about mathematics, something which to me seems entirely passionless, but it does contain passion and wonder and mystery and art. Jeremy and Dev, they had off-the-wall chemistry, and I have sort of always said this is a love story, and it, really the love story is between the two of them. And I don't think we see that too often in film, and when it can happen between um, two people that are, you know, mentor, student, or in a different kind of a way, it can be pretty powerful um, when men sort of reveal a more sensitive side that you don't often see in film these days. I'm playing a very typical closed, boarding school educated uh, Englishman, uh, not in touch with his emotions, who, for professional reasons, because he gets this Indian mathematician, this uneducated Indian mathematician, over to Cambridge, who has been used to that life, that colour, that strength of emotion, that whirl. Coming to this rather cold country, you know, we were just going to war, 1914, 1913, 1914, um, and working very closely with a man who wasn't in touch with his emotions at all, so couldn't really respond to him. An actor like myself, who looks the way I do, it's very rare to come across something that's so meaty, that's period. Um, and I knew once it got off the ground, it was gonna be surrounded by stellar actors that I was gonna be able to act opposite. You know, there's, it's a film that doesn't rely on CGI or f special effects or anything like that. It's, it's a very performance driven film about two humans with very different ideals, which I thought would be an amazing journey to go on. This is my first major role um, in a movie and appearing opposite Dev was great. He was really, really great to work with. We were traveling every day and had long hours, so it was great to be with a person who I could just hang out with, you know? Part of the reason that I was, the project was so appealing was the, the idea of working with somebody um, like Ed, who is such a legendary producer and especially with Matt as a young filmmaker, um, to be working, you know, and, and be validated by somebody like Ed, who discovered people like Terrence Malick and Oliver Stone and Brian De Palma. I knew that if if we had him in our camp, you know, it would really validate Matt and make the process to to get the movie moving forward would be that much easier. But, but Matt had a very good handle on the level of. Uh, the team he wanted to surround himself with, and I think that was important on a first-time director's job is to give him people that have the experience, and Matt, I think, uh, instinctively understood that and, and went for that as well. I can't add up two and two, and you'd think I'd open that script and be bored to tears or frightened, neither of which I thought it was the most exciting script I'd read in many a year, and it, it is a wonderful script and a, an amazing story. Luciana was my, she was my rock. Um, the combination of her and Larry Smith, it gives a remarkable look to the film. To be working with somebody like Larry Smith, who's, who's our director of photography, is uh, such an amazing stroke of good luck for us. Pure mathematicians, it, I have learned, are people who study it literally as an art, see where it takes them. The mathematics is incredibly difficult to grasp, if not impossible for someone like myself. Um, we had a really amazing guy called Ken Ono, who um, guided us through the, the complexities of it all, um, taught me a couple equations that I could write out lightning fast. I, I used to practice that every night with a friend of mine. It's been a blast working on this film. I guess my first task was to see to it that the props, the letters, the a actual mathematical manuscripts, make sure that these were accurate, precise documents, but have also helped with the tweaking of the script here and there to emphasize the right, important mathematical discoveries. I've, I've had the opportunity to discuss you know, some very critical scientific lines with both Jeremy Irons and Deb Patel, and you know, it's, it's, it's been great. It was thrilling coming here on the set and uh, seeing what had been my work back from 88 to 91, now expressed in a different genre. 
I realized over time that this film was about the cost that comes when two people wait out of fear to connect in their relationships, which is tragic, and you see it all the time in life, but you really saw it between these two people. And, you know, you, I, I think it's a miracle that Ramana John made it to Trinity and Hardy brought him over and was willing and was the right person at the right time to take the chance to bring him over. It's a bittersweet triumph at the end of the film because, you know, you want, you want a happy ending and, and there is a happy ending in a sense, but it's, it's bittersweet.